For all the international students out there, the International Department Office is here to help. The office is located in the basement of the Blackburn Science Building, across from the Curra Center, and has a very warm and welcoming environment. The International Office is meant to be a safe space for international students to hang out, work on homework, and receive any assistance they might need. Basically here at the International Department, we deal with international students, of course, beginning even before they get here to Murray State, with all the documents they need to upload or even shuttles to getting here from nearby airports. We also assist them while they're here in Murray State until they graduate. So for instance, if any students want to get a social security number or a job or whatsoever, like even dealing with class or scheduling classes, we help them with all of these areas. The International Office is open from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. Bones and All, the latest film by Oscar-nominated director Luca Guadagnino, brings new meaning to the phrase eating your way across the USA, as it follows two cannibal lovers played by Taylor Russell and Timothy Chalamet on an all-American road trip. For any viewers who aren't immediately engrossed by the combination of young love and consumption of human flesh, this film is also of regional interest as it takes place partially in Kentucky. It's the home state of Chalamet's character who is even said to be living in a tent at Land Between the Lakes at one point. Long gone are the days when a movie character from Kentucky could only be considered a toothless hillbilly. Hollywood is finally acknowledging that we are also the home state of sexy cannibals. So if you're looking for the best romance of the year, see Bones and All in a nearly empty theater that at least one confused grandmother will walk out of before it's replaced with a superhero movie. Just make sure your date only wants to eat popcorn. Murray State University will welcome Miss Enola Ford to campus on Friday, December 9th at 11.30 a.m. at the Performing Arts Hall. Ford is the niece and longtime caretaker of Miss Mary Ford Holland, the first African-American student at Murray State University. A Trigg County native, Mary Ford Holland integrated into Murray State College in the summer of 1955 when she enrolled as a 48-year-old non-traditional student, graduating in 1961. Miss Ford will share her insights, wisdom, and special recollections of her aunt with a Q&A to follow. Both the campus and community are invited to attend. The construction occurring at the Curtis Center is still going strong after being underway for almost the entirety of the semester. However, instead of only taking place in the first floor mailroom, the construction has spread to the second floor lounge room and to the entirety of the third floor, where numerous renovations are taking place. These renovations promise to modernize the lounge room, providing a new place for the Murray State Esports team to practice, a new welcome center for new students, and updated branding to further emphasize the racer spirit. Let's just hope that the renovations are done in time for us all to see them before graduation. That's all for Hot Topics. When we come back, we'll be presenting short films Baking Bad and Imposter Syndrome, so stay tuned.